least one we're planning to turn into some sort of pig shelter. So we're dropping them off near the piggy area, so it won't be sorry to get them in. So we still have three more. We also picked up two eight-foot gates today. Maybe we'll have time to get those up on our new Pasture 7. We've already been into the pigs to check on their feed and water. We're going to fill up their water. We've already filled up their feed. They're chopped off and growing big for our little sausages. And bacon. Let's not forget bacon. Welcome back to Black Acre Ranch, everybody. All right, it's another day. And today is the day we finish the south line. I'm up here on the north side of Pasture 7. Over here, down the hill, is the actual last section of fence. So this one, we only have those two lines that we're gonna be getting going. So we're gonna do those two lines at the top. We're gonna show you our adventures doing that part. We've got a number of trees to remove um, and go down that way. So we're combining our efforts, feeding cubes, spraying, and counting babies all at the same time. We are up to 12 babies today. Looks like B9 had hers. Um, it's hard to get them all at the same time, but being out here in the truck does help get a better visual. I think this, I think that's one of our newbies way about over there because she's staying kind of apart. Maybe not. All the animals, happy to have all the cubies. Look at all the babies. Whenever you're ready. All right, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. Me and my million friends, mosquitoes, um, say howdy. So. Another day, finishing the top line here, and uh, oh, blimey. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. Okay, we just have two strands. We've got the existing barbed wire, which actually isn't too bad, but we're gonna have to put two lines. So we're gonna let that be that, and then we have done all these T-posts. You might be able to see one over here. Last week, and um, we are gonna go by and actually put those, uh, what do they call those things? Barbed wire clips, T-post clips? Good night! Ah. Seriously, man, we got some issues. We're gonna put the T-post clips on all of those for the existing barbed wire strands as well. This is like a nest haven, I swear. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. nothing works around here, man. Anyway. So we're gonna run the top two. Screw this, we're moving. All right, this is a little bit better. So the only, the biggest problem, this is 600 feet here, and um, we've got these trees that are right along the fence, and this barbed wire has actually gone between different sections of tree. So we've actually got two little trees here, a big tree here. So we've got a 1,320 foot roll of barbed wire, which isn't light, and we gotta get it on this side. So we're trying to get it between the trees as we're going down. Now, we only have this first stretch of probably two, 300. We're going to our post over there. We've got this group, and then we've got a couple others. And then we've got, and then we have these two big trees. And this little guy's leaning and he's in there. So I've got the chainsaw. We're gonna start trying to clear out a bunch of stuff. That's leaning so much. I don't know how we're gonna get that and not be 
on their property. We're going to try, but it's pushing the fence over, so we're going to have to take care of that one. But we're going to go with the chainsaw and start trying to clear out all this little stuff to allow us to be able to try and roll this. Now, it's going to be a mixture of stuff. On the roll, we can undo a bunch and then feed it through just the line, which we just have to kind of all hands on deck and kind of get it through so it doesn't snag. Or we carry the roll and lift it up and around all these trees, which doesn't sound fun. So that's hence why we have the chainsaw. So it's gonna be a mixture of that, but let's get cranking on this and get this thing done. sap or something on it. Probably, yeah. Alright, let's keep going. Next. So that surgical approach, I don't know if I like that. I think it kind of sucks. We're gonna try a couple others, but I, I, I don't know. This fence line has two, I think it's just two, two H braces that are only like five feet high <clears throat> spread out there. So it's, I think it's three sections. And we can go to each H brace where we have a T post, lock it in there and go, or we run it the whole way, which is 600 feet, which is an awful long way for a single H brace. So I'm probably gonna lock it at one of these H braces and kind of see how it goes. Let's let's go look at it and I can show you what it is. So here's the brace and it goes this way. <clears throat> we put our T post on the back side and then the thing is because we only have single braces we just can't go that 600 feet. So we're segregating it <clears throat> but I, I can't staple it because these posts are too short. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a wire around this and staple it in so that way it supports the top. The bottom is in the ground to try and anchor this as much as I can to this post, okay, to stop it from moving. We're then gonna drag a wire, wrap it tight around this, loop it, and then we're gonna use the come along at the far end where the post is to pull all the way that direction. So that's how we're gonna secure it at one of these braces and then go that way.
we're just about walked the whole line. And we've been dealing with this kind of a mess. So we have tried, if you can see it, to loop it behind these trees. Um, but it's definitely been a struggle in the jungle. Let's go catch up with Jeff and see our next step. So before we actually did that uh, T-post, we got trimming and trimming and more trimming. And we ended up going this whole line of trimming all these things out. We're knackered, man. That sucks. So we've got the chainsaw, the clippers. We've got most of this line kind of cleared out. So now it's a matter of actually getting these T-posts locked up and finished running the wire. So most of the wires run this way. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. The H braces, we have two sets of H brace, and this one is right next to the camera and is right next to the corner one that's just right over there. So we're going to go back to that up one. We thought there was three, but we can't find another one. We're going to go back up to the other guy, and we're going to wrap around the post there, secure it to this, those posts, and we're going to pull it to the corner. We're then going to wrap around it again, and that's going to do the line all the way to this corner. So I'll show you what we're gonna do as we tie these things to the posts right now. I swear I won't start trimming anything. I have this first H bro brace here, midsection. This is the T post. We've anchored this in the ground and all the teeth are facing us. So our wire is gonna come across the front side. It's anchored in the ground. I'm gonna anchor it up top by putting a high tensile wire here. I'm gonna staple it in that way. Hopefully, it doesn't shift as we anchor to it. So we go side to side. Not perfect. I think it's gonna work. So we're gonna try this. Now I have to come along. I'm not gonna be able to pull super tight. Alright, I understand there's limitations to this. The post may start to bend. We just want a little bit of tightness and then we'll anchor them to all these T posts along the way. Also to counter it, we're gonna do about the same spot and go the opposite direction. So when we get all the fence set up, it will have tension going both ways and hopefully it helps to stabilize it some. All right, we're just looking for something to anchor it to above this amount. My goal here is to wrap it probably two to three times at a particular spot. And then I'm going to wrap it under, just like a fence post. All right, this one was just to stick it so that way it didn't untangle. And once we get this other wire wrapped going that direction, we will then put a T-post clip, hopefully between those two if we can fit it. If not, we won't worry about it. But again, this is now gonna be stretched going that way and hopefully it holds. But again, we're not gonna do it too tight. It won't hold a lot. So we're just gonna do it tight enough. Okay, I'm tightening it. You can let go.
I'm waiting for feedback from my dad who's at the T post. All right, more tightening. Okay, make sure it's loose. How's it looking? All right, first section down. Come hold it with us, that was a little tedious. All right, top line, here we go. I'm pulling too tight and they're saying ow. So, I'm just gonna leave that one alone for now. Ah! Thorn bush got me. All right, let's pull it tight. Just go do something. You got any pliers? Mario. Looks like the teeth post is kind of bending a little bit. So I guess we put a little too much on it. We're going to straighten it out as we do the next two going this direction. Alright, last line, the upper. We've almost got it, and that's our roll. We got lots of flat stuff. Yeah, we got a slap. A lot of stuff. Alright. We also had to run another brace wire across here to support the fence as we pull it that direction. So we got that done, first line, and then this one. So we will follow up back with you when we finish it. Um, meanwhile, everyone down the line. Everyone down the line is finishing up the last little T clips. Done, 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 done. See, even an old dog can. Better than nothing. Ahmed, you gonna grab it for me? All right, so we had a pretty wicked day today. It was warm, it was muggy, and this is Pumpkin. She worked really hard for us. Yep. Hey, dog. Where you at, dude? All right, there he is. All right, then we have Grandma and Grandpa. Grandma's hidden. She will not come out. Okay, we finished that fence. We got it done, oh my gosh. So hard. It was supposed to rain at three. It's, gosh, seven? Right. I don't, it's just, it hasn't, it's been hot and it's been muggy and kudos to everybody that was there. We got it done and it sucked. It really did. Like, yeah, not, not my favorite fence line. I'll tell you that. So a lot of bushes, a lot of trees, a lot of just junk. So anyway, pasture seven fencing all done. And here's a surprise for you. We got here this morning. We thought, Hey, you know what? There's one new baby Buffalo and it was B9, B9, B9. So, we're wrapping things up. Clouds are now coming out, which I wish would have been here at three. Taking the hay out and you start counting and we have two other babies. So we also have new babies, like legit wet. Brand number new. eight. And then 
Mom number 38. Yes. She was pretty distant. So she didn't want to play around too no, much. No, she's like, hey, this is brand new. Don't you get near my baby. Yep, so eight. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah eight, 38, and B9. Yay, so 14 babies. 14 babies. Half of them weren't even pregnant, <laughs> seems know. like. You've got a baby. You've got a baby. Everybody's so, got a baby. Everybody's going to get a baby. Anyway, so it's been a good day. Keep joining along with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. We're trying to get 1,000 subscribers if we could. So if you like this stuff, and what we're doing, put a th you know, put a thumbs up and put a subscribe button. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. So anyway, appreciate you being here. Talk to you later. With you, I wanna stay with